Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and tonight I'm going to give you um, my tips for getting people to respond to your messages. So I hear a lot from people that they're sending all these messages and they're getting crickets. Either people aren't reading them at all or they're reading them and they can see they're reading them and they're not responding. So the first thing I'm going to ask you is, is your message personal? So if you are um, sending someone a message, don't say, hey, hon, hey, girl, hey, there. The, the simplest thing you can do is take the five seconds and put their name in there. And if they're like from Instagram or Snapchat and their full name isn't listed, then you can say like, hey, hon, hey, girl, hey, there. But if on Facebook, obviously their name is there. And sometimes even on Instagram, when you go to send a direct message, their name is there. So be sure to use their name. The other thing about personalized messages is that, especially on Facebook, if you send the same message to a bunch of different people, Facebook is going to consider it spam. And you can actually get in trouble for that. They can suspend your messaging account, which obviously is a huge issue if you're an entrepreneur. So you want to make sure that you are personalizing your message to the person, right? You don't just want to send five messages that all say, say the exact same thing um, because it makes the person feel like their message isn't personal and it could get you in trouble with Facebook. So how many of you have got a message from someone that's clearly spammy, right? You, it's like, hey, maybe you're interested in this, or maybe you want to join my business, or maybe you want to do that, or maybe you want to do this. You are not going to respond to that because that person didn't take any time to get to know you. So you want to make sure that you're sending these really personal messages and that you're not leading with the business. You know, go on their page and find something about that person that you have in common. Obviously, you're interested in speaking to them for some reason, like they piqued your interest. So why? Tell them why they piqued your interest and like what you wanna know about them. The next tip I'm gonna give you is to never, ever, ever send a link in the first message. You don't know what that person's interested in, which is also why you don't want to send a big, long spam message, right? Like with a bunch of options and you're just word vomiting. That is not good either. But you also really want to make sure that you don't send a link. Someone's going to be like, okay, this person's trying to sell me something. They don't even know me in this first message. So you do not want to send a link. Eventually, if you get to the point where the person's interested in purchasing something from you, obviously you can send the link, but do not send that in the first message. So you're like, okay, gave us all these don'ts. Don't use hey girl. Don't send a link. Don't send, you know, an unpersonal message. What do I send? You want to send a very personal message to this, to this prospect, right? And what I use is something I call compliment, comment, question. So something like, oh my goodness, your little boy's outfit was so cute. I loved it. Where did you get it? You complimented them, you commented on it, and you asked a question. That is great, obviously. Like, that is a great message. But the most important thing in that message is the question because you want to get them responding back to you. So you want to make sure you're asking a question. And you need to make these messages sincere. This isn't just like a, I'm throwing this out here and you know I'm not really interested in it. Obviously you need to be interested in getting to know this person if you're thinking of growing your business with them, right? So um, I hope this was helpful. I see great success with messages and actually I've had people like send me these spammy messages and I literally write back and be like, thanks for the spam. And they're just like, oh my goodness. You know, because you sort of like call them out on it. You're like, hey, I know this wasn't directed at me. It's just sort of like sent out there. So you want to make sure that you're really being um, consistent as well as very personal in your messages if you really want to grow your business 
by getting to know people. You may get like some sales with those spammy messages and you may make some money, but you're not going to grow a long-term business. You're not going to develop that trust and you're not going to develop that consistency, right? So I hope this was helpful. If you want any more tips, be sure to check out JillianKaplan.com. Have a great day, guys. Bye.